So you see here, with the chopstick, your glucose level is almost half of what it was when you used your spoon. What is happening is a very simple phenomenon. With your spoon, you're eating about 8 to 10 grams of rice. In contrast with the chopstick, yeah. you only could take about 3 to 4 grams of rice per mouthful. When you eat rice, in small portions, mm -hmm. you chew the rice for a smaller period of time. And therefore, you are breaking down the rice grains into large particles. In contrast, you're eating about 8 to 10 grams of rice with your spoon, and therefore you spend much longer in terms of the time taken to masticate the rice. The rice particles will be much smaller in size and what we call the surface to volume ratio is very different to what would be seen in the chopstick. Now, as soon as it gets swallowed up and into the gut, the enzyme called amylase that breaks down the starch comes into action. And you can imagine the enzyme like a predator and he's got more to eat in your spoon that got smaller particles. So then coming back to your pictogram now, you can see how eating the rice with the spoon has an incredible spike compared to eating the rice with a chopstick. The rice intuitively is high glycemic index, but to make it low, all you've got to do is to use your quintessential chopstick. If you eat the rice first, you get a huge spike in blood glucose. Whereas if you eat the vegetable first, followed by the piece of chicken, and then the rice the last, you have a completely blunted blood glucose for the same meal. So the vegetable does two things. The fiber retard the progression of the starch digestion. Mm. Polyphenols binds to the starch, therefore reduces the risk of the enzyme breaking down. Then comes your chicken. The protein, it enhances insulin secretion. Insulin is a very important hormone that promotes the absorption of glucose into your muscle, therefore less in your blood. So therefore the post-glucose response is much more blunt. So the implications of all of this is that if you continuously eat a high GI meal or diet, it predisposes you to type 2 diabetes. And therefore, all of this science is trying to see how we can down-regulate your blood glucose, but also not prescribing people from eating what they want to eat. How can we have our rice and eat it? This is the first time I've had a pair of chopsticks give me the sensation that this rice is salty. This chopstick is a special design from our side. We try to use a microelectric current to stimulate your taste buds. 